hello family how are you all doing welcome back to our channel welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to talk about some important things when you arrive abroad some of the key things that you have to do when you arrive do not panic do not fear that how am i going to start what is going to happen am i going to succeed no life is step by step step by step you know you need to start somewhere to get somewhere and this is what happened when you move to a new country when you move to a new country it's like you have just been born again you are coming with nothing and you need to start life from ground zero so a lot of people are always concerned how is life abroad how, how did you make it and where you are how have you been doing and what are the things you've been doing so i want to tell you the first thing you have to do when you arrive abroad i'm giving you some few points today and they are going to help you try to apply for your working permits because when you move abroad everything is strange you are in a new environment you are asking yourself where do i start how do i get a job let's say for example you arrive without a working permit some people are lucky that they come with their green card but if you are not in that position of your own green card, make sure you start applying for working permits find out go to youtube I always say go to youtube or google you have to be smart you have to you know push up if you don't push up yourself you wouldn't be able to do anything apply for working permits that is the first thing you have to do because working permit it takes some time you can be home for more than six months waiting for a working permit so you have to act fast before you know you don't want to waste time you want to start making that damn cash all right so the first thing you have to do when you get the first day when you have some rest let's say for about a week knowing the area where you live and seeing what's happening around go on take your damn computer and start doing stuff start making stuff moving this is what you do when you get abroad abroad is a different it's a different environment from Africa, from where you were living. You need to get adapted. The second thing you have to do is take English class. Hey, English class is very important. Even I myself, I still feel like my English is not good because I never take an English class. But I regret it. I wanted to take an English class because it's very important. The way these people, they speak, their pronunciation is different from us. It's different from ours. Look at, I'm already making some mistakes. So it's different from ours. So if you have the possibility of taking some English class, there are free English class online. You just have to be curious and know where to get those classes. If you want me to share some uh, information about where you can take some English class, let me know. I'll definitely do that as another video. Another thing you have to do is you have to be curious. You have to be smart. This is a high standard country, especially USA. The standard is high. Their technology is high. Things are different. Start getting familiar on how to use their card how to use the atm machine in case you start making some money get familiar with the environment you know understanding their their roads their their road signs in case you have to start driving very soon you know be curious be smart this is what is meant by when you get somewhere don't just be mm, no you have to be open this is a country where everybody is busy, busy, busy. People don't have time to be behind you, to be struggling, to say, okay, do this, do this. You have to be smart by yourself. And this is what I mean by be curious, be smart, and start looking for the careers that are highly demanded. If you want to start some education, going to school, do not waste time. This is what makes people in this country. If you come and you want to start going to school, immediately get into it. Do not waste time. By the time you realize you're already done, you start your nursing in like three years, four years, you're done. You become a nurse. Don't wait like after four years before you start 
thinking oh what career can i do can i go to school and you've been working cna for your whole time for the past four years five years you're in america but if you're smart you come and you just get into it get into the system you will succeed very fast so that is it and that being it be smart girl another point is learn about their system the culture their system their culture the way they behave is totally different from where you are coming from either you're from nigeria you're from cameroon or wherever you're coming from it's very very different their system their culture you need to try to get familiar to it how do the americans how do they behave so you can get into the system let you not meet somebody and that person is kind of no the americans they are always smiling hey hi hi you have to learn if you're not smiling always smile even though sometimes we believe that those smiles are fake but that is the way they are when they meet someone the first impression they do is a smile even at the job side because this is the way they are learn how to look an american in their eyes when you're talking to them they feel like when you're talking to them and you're looking them straight into their eyes they have some type of confidence they have trust especially when you're looking for a job if you're looking for a job you go for a job interview you sit there make sure you give eye contact but we all know in africa most of the time we we are like this or we are looking for somewhere else where our head is like this yes i I'm, I'm from cameron what did you study yeah i study finance no americans don't want that they want you to look at them what did you study yes sir my name is miriam i am from cameron i was born in cameron now i migrated to uh usa i have skills in this they want you to look them into your eyes and tell them they will trust you so family these are some little tricks you need to learn when you move abroad make sure you get familiar with the system culture so you don't get lost right you don't get lost and have confidence build confidence i didn't i was not able to sit and talk on the camera right but because i am getting familiar to the to the environment to the system now i can sit i can talk on the camera i know i'm talking to somebody i know i'm looking at you so i have built that self-confidence and this is what they want you to do this will help you to succeed very fast when you move to a new country be very smart and curious all right family thank you all for watching me today if you have any question you have anything you want me to explain to you on what to do when you get abroad or any country as long as you're from africa and you're traveling to the u.s i am based in usa and just ask your question in the comment section and i will definitely answer you also if it's your first time do not forget to hit that subscribe button the notification bell so each time when i post a new video you'll be the first person to watch thank you all for watching today and now i'll see you in my next video like and comment okay like give me a thumbs up bye ciao <laughs> love you